Hey everyone, and welcome back to another game of Catan. I'm the Wanderer, and today we are playing another ranked game on our road to number one this season. Uh, we've got the second pick today, uh, a pick that we don't often get, so I feel like uh, I'd like to practice these a bit more. Uh, the first thing that I can see on today's board is that the eight here is the really only good uh, ore spot, meaning that I think red probably takes either uh, probably takes the eight ten four. Just to kind of lock that up. I don't see them going anywhere else, to be completely honest. Um, it's, it's an interesting board. Uh, what have we got a lot of? There's a bit of wheat. There's a bit of wood and brick. Uh, plenty of sheep. And yeah, not much ore. So, I don't know. This is a tough board. There's no real obvious spots other than this 8104. And then, yeah, this is interesting. Okay, let's have a look at what we got. So, I think... I like the idea of getting wooden brick early on. Like this nine ten five up to the uh, the brick port to me seems pretty good uh, because I think what do we have? Uh, blue placing next. Oh, are we going to get on wheat on the way back? I think we are. There's so many wheat spots in here. So if we get something like nine ten five, oh, there is this eight ten five here, which is actually pretty solid. The other thing is we don't get brick on the way back, which is going to be a problem. Uh, just because there's no strong ore, so I think we need to. Yeah, I think the fact that it is that we're probably not going to get on a decent ore spot means that I think we got to lock up some brick early on. I think that's got to be the play. And I think we go here. We don't get challenged for this brick port at all, I don't think. I'd be very surprised. I know the A105 is a nice spot, but I think we get wheat on the way back, and I think we get sheep. Something like this 4911 could be left on the way back. Uh, what else have we got? That's not, I mean, obviously, the 6511 will go. I mean, I'd be happy with that. It's 5411. We now we need wheat, yeah. Eight three four, eight ten. Like even if we go without sheep to begin and have to build to it, I'm completely fine with that. Yeah. So blue takes the nine six three to get on some brick. So I think orange could potentially go something like eight ten five eight three, get a starting brick, and then get themselves to either the three for one or the ore port. Uh, they do go the eight ten five. This is going to be interesting here because they, yeah, the playing off the weak brick here is going to be hard, and obviously the weak ore. So I think I think they have to go here, uh, unless they just go on all out on production and jump on this six five eleven, get themselves to the three for one, and just go and just go with that. I think that's their only two options. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I mean, I suppose they start with two ore there, so I think that's the the plus in that play. So, blue here is looking for ore and uh, wood, which they can't get both. So, I think they probably lock up the strong uh, wood spot here with the wood port. So, I think they've got to be going 6511. Pretty confident, anyway. Yep, makes complete sense. Uh, they might point right here in hopes that uh, this is open. And if not, then they can get up to the 4113. Yep, that makes sense. Okay, so, uh, this is interesting. Do we... I need the sheep, right? Uh, but the problem is by taking this, it, oh no, because then I suppose red just goes, yeah, I think, actually, sorry, do we just go the 843 here? Yeah, I think we do, because red, red's going to take probably 4911, yeah, I actually, yeah, I think, actually think we take the 843 here, um, and do we point left to expand onto the sheep, or do we point down? The problem with pointing down is red can just go in here and take it away from us, so I think... Because the ore port's useless. We need a three for one. That makes the most sense. We are on weak wheat, which is a little bit annoying. But if the threes hit, we're okay. Problem is now, we red does get this, this 9, 10, 11 spot, which is pretty nice for them. Yeah. If I was red, I probably would have gone here and pointed down to open this up. Because now they're a little bit stuck with where to place the road. So they go right. I suppose the three for one is there for them down here, or they can get out to the five two as uh, we can roll here. What was that? An eleven and an eleven to start. Cool. Uh, nothing we can do here. Let's just pass. And there's a seven. So blue will be looking for brick here, which I don't think anyone has. So I wonder if we get blocked on the ten. Yep. Seems like the obvious block. Steal some red. Uh, no one has brick. Now, the biggest problem with us is we have great road materials, but haven't really got a good board position to extend road. Like, as in, we can build in through here, I guess, and go out, but oh, it's not great. So, blue four for once for the brick. And drops the road down to the wood port. And we roll the four. 
we really need these nines and tens to come in for us uh, just to get started here. That's the only problem when you're playing uh, a building game at the start with wooden brick is if it doesn't hit, you lose the ability to to expand quickly. Uh, and obviously, as you're not playing ore, it's really hard to dev. And there's another eight. Uh, red pops a dev. Let's roll. And a five. We're just full of wood right now. There's no brick on the board. I think we just got to pass one more cycle and hopefully this nine hits. Five. We're just so full of wood right now. And there's a seven. So orange seven's out. I don't. I don't know who he robs here. Because I just. I don't think we get blocked. Oh, we could get blocked on the five of wood, but I think a better block for orange is the nine wheat. Yeah. Blocks the nine. I think. I think, yeah, steals from blue. I think blue's probably, even though they're allless, I think blue's in the best position production wise, and then once they get on this wood port. Blocks the six. I don't know why blue's questioning here. The problem is we have over. Oh, I don't really know. If we don't seven out, are we four for one for brick here just to drop a road? I mean, we could four for one and uh, pop a dev. The only problem with that is that um, our, wheat, our wheat's not great, and we need that wheat to get a settle early on. So I'm hoping. Uh, a nine hits or a ten. Oh, we get the nine. Perfect. Um, is the brick port or the three to one more important to begin with? Because we could lose that race to orange. <sighs> I'm not sure here. I don't think orange goes there, but let's just... Let's drop this road. And then we can four for one for the brick here. But I'd rather hold because the nines and the tens could hit. So let's hold. There's the ten. We could seven out though. This could be risky. Two. I mean, we still have the settle in our hand if we do seven out, but we could get jacked, which could break the settlement. Orange passes. Just as a quick explanation, as we seven out, um, let's hope we don't get jacked here. As a quick explanation, the main reason I went to the three for one first, as opposed to the, the brick port, is that uh, we're going to have a lot of wood in our hand, most likely, and we need a way to get rid of it. So I think that's that's definitely the, the best play to begin with. Now, we pro if red's tracking here, we get blocked. Probably on the eight wood. Oh, solo's blue. Whew, see, we're lucky there. I think if, if red was paying enough attention uh, to breaking our settlement was the play, then I don't think soloing blue was the play. And a six rolls. Good block, though, I guess. Uh, we can drop our settlement and clear our hand. It's nice. And we roll the five. And there's another seven. So orange seven's out here. So, again, they they if they want to block us, it's the five or the ten. Um, I just, we only have wood. I don't think they want it. Yeah, blocks the nine. I think he just knows that he didn't want, didn't want the wood that I had. Steal some red. And then there's a six. I feel like we've done all right considering we haven't had the best rolls to start. Not that we've had terrible ones, but uh, as the four hits, we'll take that. Uh, let's just pass. Nothing we can do there. Five. Okay, so orange and blue. So blue had to pass then on, se uh, on seven cards. And... Uh, orange now with eight. So I'm trying to decide here what orange is first move. They're holding for the city. Uh, but instead, okay, they just opt for the two devs instead. And there's a five. So lots of fives and eights to begin the game. Red pops a dev. And the four hits. Okay, so we have the three for one here. Do we, what are we, are we able to get, I just think we need either ore or brick. And no one's going to give that up right now. We could three for one for a brick to drop a road. Um, but my theory is here, right? I think we do, I don't want to give up that, the sheep's not like it's, it's the fours of hit. I actually think we pass. It seems weird holding on seven cards, but that's an 11 hits. I just feel like we can't trade the sheep away at the moment. I don't want a three for one it and our brick in theory should hit. I suppose actually what I could have done there was three for one for the wheat and hold. That probably was the right play actually. Yeah, no, that's my bad. So Blue's really holding out for that city. I'm pretty sure they're just the one ore away. Blue's offering up some pretty nice trades here. They end up having a four for one for the brick. Uh, ooh, interesting. They opt to forgo the wood port for to getting on the ore. Interesting. Okay. It's a bit of a gamble. Um, just considering they don't really have another port. Red plays a knight. Pops it on the six. Steals from Blue. Oh, and then we seven out. I guess we just go... Three and one, I think. Problem is, they can't, I don't think they're solo blue here. That's just, they're absolutely smashing blue. It's the 10 hits. Um, do you think we could do a sheep for a wheat here? Let's 
Let's drop the road. Uh, no one's going to take that. It's fine. 12 hits. And there's a 7. So, I don't know. I feel like we, we're escaping the robber right now. Uh, orange can only really block us on the 5 or the 10. That's worth it for them, I think. They've been blocking this 9 so far. Nah, there we go. There's the 5. I think we get stolen from here. Just not the ore. It lets the bot decide. Uh, takes the sheep. That's fine. No worries there. And we're on the 8. I'm not worried about the 5 block, to be honest. We're on the 8 of wood. Um, I just... Oh, a city on this 5, 9, 10 is, is pretty wild. So, Orange ends up just popping a dev there. And another dev. So, Orange is sitting on 4 devs. Just go on the full all wheat sheep here as the 6 hits. Yeah, so we have no chance at army in this game. Which is obviously fair enough as we're on low, no ore and low wheat uh, as the 8 hits. So, I think for us, that ore that we have, we've got to focus on a city. And then pretty much just roading and settling our way to the win. That's tempting, but I'd rather do it on my turn, I think. That's also tempting. Oh, it just gives them the city, though, and it worries me then with the city where they're offering three cards. Do I take three here for the brick? Ah, I suppose them getting on that ore, though, is just so wild. How about this? Oh, damn, too slow. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think there. Was that worth giving that that eight spot there to blue? Maybe it was because if Orange is playing all the devs, actually, yeah, it probably was because yeah, if Orange is playing all the dev cards and playing all the knights, then that eight becomes the most blockable square by a mile. Wow. Wow. All mono there from, from Orange. I think he was debating it. Uh, that should give him a city, I think. Uh, yeah, four for ones for the wheat. So that'll be a city. It's a little bit annoying. We only lose the one. It's not the end of the world. Red rolls a seven. So, yeah, blocks a six, steals from orange. Wheat for wood here is interesting. Oh, sorry, sheep for wood here is interesting. I'll do sheep for wood and wheat. No, they don't take it. That's all right. I don't want two wood. I don't think they... I'm not sure if they have wheat right now. Ooh, okay. I think... Is it red or is it orange here? That's the question. We can't really block them both. That's a good spot because they're all on other wheat. So... I think it's got to be this eight, doesn't it? Or right, no, actually, I'm trying to. For I, I think I'm trying to force the devs out of orange orange's hand here. And we get the ore back. That'll do. Five hits. Because red has two knights played, uh, but orange is going to start catching up. I'd assume if those are knights. Ooh, gets the two for one off there with uh, red. Uh, so that should give them the settlement on the eight three. I think. No, nope, still looking for. Brick or ore here. Maybe they maybe they've got the city. Um geez, these are these are interesting trades. I just I can't give it up yet. I'll give up Uh nah. I can't give blue a city like that while they have no ore. Yeah, they end up four for wanting for the brick, I think, just to get the settle down. Now orange has got to hammer this eight if they have a knight. The fact that they don't play one scares me there. So Orange just does nothing that whole turn as the 11 hits. Problem is we're... A, oh, red pops a dev. So Red... If that's a knight, Red can lock in army as they drop a road too. And of course, we 7 out. I think we drop that. Now, is it, it's got to be Red here, doesn't it? It's got to be this 8. This 8's just got to get hammered. We have to steal from Blue, unfortunately. Let's see if we can get a Wheat here. Wood for Wheat, maybe? That War for Wheat here. Blue doesn't get two cards there. Okay, happy to pass. It's annoying. I just can't give Blue that extra ore while they're on the eight. There's a six, so there's way there's lots of wheat to go around now. There's a ten. Okay, there's so much wheat out there. We should be able to get a trade. Nope, that has taken up all the time to... I have to say ore. Uh, as the six gets blocked, uh, which is red, red it decides to take army. Uh, let's roll. Okay, there is absolutely a trade here where we can get wheat. I think brick brick for wheat, I think someone does. I'll do the one for one here. It's so annoying giving this to blue. I hate it. I hate it, but we're, we're so stuck otherwise. All right, let's do this. Oops, I meant to offer that. Didn't mean to click it. Sorry, blue. Do you want it now? Uh... It's gross. We had to give up an ore for that. It's gross. But we just, we, we're just we so stuck there waiting for that. Uh, and our game was just stagnated without it. 
Okay, we have our ports. We've got to focus on the city now. I feel like our numbers... Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just <laughs> I feel like I can feel like it's working against us, but I feel like our numbers aren't hitting that much as Blue Pops a dev. And a nine hits. So we've got some brick now. Now, I suppose a, a good play for us is to potentially play our red for the three for one if we can. Um, I know I said focus on a city, but taking that three for one away from red really hurts their game. <laughs> Jeez, everyone's out here throwing shade at orange. I just thought they were wasting time on purpose. Uh, orange passes. And then the six rolls. So that six block is a good block there. Uh, curious to see if... I don't think red has to settle here. It's fine if they get it. Um... Problem is red. Once red, if red cities here, they're they're really strong. Uh, they end up just popping a dev. Let's roll four hits. Man, uh, what do we do here? There's nothing we could drop roads, but is it like I guess are we gonna have to take road? Like I think something we could do is potentially is to play our orange across the top here. Uh, we would just need some more. Let's just pass one more time. I think maybe this is the wrong play. I don't know. I just think we have to make a road play. So blue plays a knight. Blocks the 10. Should be stealing from either orange or red. The fact that orange has been sitting on those three down Ds, that was a little scary. And then blue rolls a 7. Could get blocked here on the 8 of wood. Oh, blocks the 10. Interesting. It's not, I mean, it's not the end of the world for us. That's okay. I guess that's red's only brick. Blue pops a dev. And then orange rolls a 2. They play uh, an aggro knight here. Go on the 9. Again, I think they'll be stealing from red. I would assume. Oh, steals from blue. Okay. They go out to the three for one down here. Red plays a knight. Pops it on the six. Should be stealing from orange. Has we hit an eight. All right, come on, nine or ten. Ah, six. Come on, man. Um, let's just see if we can get this. Or a sheep for a wheat, maybe. Otherwise, we could potentially port all of this for two ore, which I'm kind of tempted to do. Ah, uh, not two ore, an ore and a wheat, sorry. Um, and look to hold for this city, I think. And we'll just pass, and hopefully we don't get jacked. So blue plays a knight. It's got to be, yeah, red and orange here. And then rolls a seven, so I think this... Does he go back on the ten here? Yep, should be stealing from red. Yep. Blue just pops a dev instead. So, Blue's out here pushing red for army a little bit now. Here's a five. So, again, no road buildings played, no yops played, one mono, and the rest is either um, is uh, either knights or VP. So, there's there's a lot of interesting dev cards left in this deck uh, as orange blocks the eight of ore, steals from red, and they pop another dev. Ooh, the army race is heating up. All right, let's roll. Oh, the nine. Okay, that's a city, I think. Yeah, we can three for one, and we can two for one here. So let's just get this city up. I think that's just huge for us on the, the 9, 5, 10. Uh, perfect. Okay, that, that helps a lot. Now we just need to look at solidifying roads. So if I can plow orange across the top here and link up my roads around here, whew, we're on. Because we can road for 7, settle two more times now for 9, and then hopefully either get a city or maybe pull a, a VP. There's the 9, perfect. Uh, orange plays a knight, blocks the 10. Takes one of our brick, which is kind of annoying. They just need the wheat to settle, I think. They end up four for wanting for the wheat. And they settle. So that should draw the attention back to them, I think. Yep, so I think orange gets blocked again here for sure. Either on the six or the eight. Or even the five. Yep, perfect. All right, let's roll. Ooh, ten. Okay, so do we think we can get a wood here for a brick? Because we can then plow orange across the top. How about a sheep for a wood here? Yep, I think I take that blue. That's fine. I think this is big here. It cuts away Orange's next expansion in here. It gives us road. Because worst case, if Orange somehow can, you know, road build, settle here and cut off our connection, we still have a couple of roads here and then the wrap around here, which people are going to struggle to take that office. See, I struggle to see Blue's win condition here because they're going to battle to get army. So even if they've got a couple of VPs, it's, they're going to struggle a little bit. Blue pops another dev. Oh, hits the road building. Interesting. So they're going to the three for one, which they really need. There's a two. Eight hits. 
man, we need some nines and tens. This brick needs to, to come through for us. Uh, red pops another dev trying to defend their army. Problem is there's already, what, seven? There's already nine knights played. Ooh, red cities. That's a big city for them. 11 hits. Perfect. Nothing we can do there. We'll just pass. Come on, nines and tens. Blue plays a knight. I hope they don't think I'm the steal here. Yeah, good. Blue seems to know what they're doing. And they steal from red. 12 rolls for orange, which is just nuts. As we hit the 10, I was just uh, explaining in the chat then to that it's probably better for the board that I have rowed at the moment because I can't really dev uh, and it's going to take a while for me to be able to settle in city. Red says they have army on lock. They, they definitely have it. Like, you know, there's already, what, seven? There's already 10 knights played. They must have another one. So that's probably why. So orange cities. Red plays a knight. I hope they don't rob me here. It's got to be orange. Yeah. Solo's the five. Good block. We hit the four. So the biggest killer for our game so far is that this three has barely rolled. A couple of those, and we would have been able to, you know, settle here a bit earlier uh, and not seven out as many times. All right, let's roll. Whew, seven's out. So is, it's got to be, is it red or orange here? I think I probably blocked the 10. Uh, who has wheat? Does anyone have wheat? I think orange might have wheat. Uh, oh, okay. That's actually not bad. Um, do we drop two more roads or do we pop a dev here? I actually think we drop two more roads. We just got to extend here. Because if we do connect, and that's that road is locked. We hit the nine. The nine's massive. So blue settles for four. I think they have a VP. And I think orange has a VP too. There's the three. That's what we were looking for. Five hits. So we can settle here. Red settles. Six rolls. Let's. I think we definitely settle. I think we settle. And then I actually think we dev here because there's so many nice devs left in the deck. Oh, shit. I actually settled in the wrong spot. That was so dumb. Oh, actually, no. I suppose it wasn't that dumb because we can just settle again here, actually. Um, oh, is a year of plenty good? I don't know. We're at eight. Nine hits. Blue's looking for a city here. So I think blue's at five. I'm pretty sure orange is at seven. Obviously, red's at seven. I feel like we need to use the yop to city because obviously we've got settled materials, no worries. We can settle here. That's locked in this spot. Uh, and then we can connect road to pretty much like just seal that in as blue pops a dev. So there's still another mono, another road building. Okay, so blue's kind of... Well, I suppose that opens up a settle and they can extend road this way as well. There's an 11. That really helps. Because that's a city, isn't it? Yeah, if we three for one, if we two for one the brick and use the yop, that's a city. Orange pops two devs. Ooh, that's kind of scary. And then they three for one for an ore. A 10. Super nice there. Uh, red pops another dev to defend army or potentially pull a VP. All right, let's roll. Ooh, five. Okay, hang on. Can we win here? Uh, we need to city. City and settle. Because that's the... No, we're pretty close though. I think... I think we need to connect. No, let's just city first. I think we yop for the yop for the two wheat. Let's do this here for the ore. Perfect. Let's city the eight four three. Uh, we can't settle, can we? I actually think we extend our road here because we have the open settlement spot here. And this just puts a lock on road. And then let's pass. So we'll get jacked here, which is fine. Uh, orange could be at nine here. I, I don't know. Um, I just think we had to... We have the open settlement spot. It's sitting right there. I think that's what we had to do. Yeah, so the 10 gets blocked. I think... Uh, sorry, the, the, I think red's right there. I think the nine's probably a better block there. Yeah, we lose a brick. Someone's sitting on a mono though. So blue settles. Eight hits. Uh, orange plays an aggro knight. Pops on the nine. I think that makes sense. They three for one for the wheat. 
Popping another dev. Then they three for one for another or and pass. Oh, red rolls a seven, but disconnects. I wonder if they... Oh, no, they're back. That's all right. Okay, so we get jacked again here. I was just going to say... Uh, orange... Um, Yep, so red three for ones for the wheat. Passes, let's roll. Eight hits, nothing we can really do here. Let's just pass. Six, that six is big for orange, especially if they're at nine. The good thing is they have no city spots left. Uh, blue plays an aggro knight. Probably pops it on the nine brick again. Ooh, pops it on the 10, huge. Steals from orange. Who's got the mono is what I'm thinking. I want, oh, blue pops a dev. I want blue to have it. I just think, I think red has it. That that makes me think that that's a mono. It still could be in the deck. We're hitting 11. That's actually kind of nice. Um, because I just, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. We haven't, these, if the 9s and 10s hit, like if we hit a 9 and then we hit a 10, it's it's game over if there's no monos. Oh, I reckon orange has it. Yep, they tried to the dirty mono. Had a feeling. Uh, so that means they probably have, do, they, do, they, do we think they have two VPs? Or they might only have one then. So if they got one, blue's probably got two, or red has one. Problem is by monoing all the ore there, all they can do is either, yeah, they just give it up for another dev, I think. Or potentially two devs. Yep, man. Okay, so I hope orange, uh, red robs orange here. Yep, red's just trying to pull that last VP. <laughs> Yeah, they just drop a couple of roads, opening up a settle spot. And then a five hits. Um, I guess orange wins here. I guess we just three for one for the wheat and pass. And just hope we get a couple of rolls and orange can't win. Red plays a knight. It's got to be blocking orange. Pops it on the 10. Still some orange. And then rolls a seven. So hopefully they block the five. Oh, blocks the eight. Okay, makes sense. I suppose because I can still win with like, you know, that eight helps a lot. I think everyone knows that that's a VP because there's 14 knights played, right? Uh, so there's, I suppose there could be another year of plenty and another road building in there, though. I just don't know what... I don't know what... what I'm, Orange must win because they, they must have the other yop, I think, or they could like road build out. Yeah, I think Orange wins. Yeah, they end up three for one for the ore. I kind of hope they pull here to take that away. Orange doesn't play a knight. So it makes me think they might have a yacht, which they can win with. I suppose they can't city, though. Man, if we just hit a couple of nines or tens here... Yes, Orange plays the road building to open up the spot, but do they have what they need to settle is the question. Oh, they don't. Come on, nines. Man, we're just not getting the rolls. We need a nine. A nine wins us the game. Yep, they three for one. Pull. All right. So red might have got that last VP then, which is interesting. And red has that open settle too. All right, come on, colonist. We need a nine, please. All right, let's go. Nine. Oh, we got the five. Damn it. Um, I guess we just... I guess we just pass. That's disgusting. We we're so close. Uh, either orange or red will win here, I think, unless there's a seven. If blue hits the two. So I think blue got one VP. I think orange has... Uh, two, and I think red might have two. I'm not sure if that last one was a VP, though. Okay, blue ends up just three for wanting for the wheat. Dropping a road. Seven. Oh, there's the nine. Bloody hell. That's the win, but orange, I'm pretty sure orange gets the game here. Unless they don't have three VPs, and they've only got two. If it's one, two, two, that'd be awesome. Yep, day three for one for the brick. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm assuming no one's going to give them that trade. They have the yop. I don't know what they were doing. Road, settle. Oh, they must have needed to get this spot too. Six rolls. Okay, I don't. Red can't win. Okay, no seven. Oh, let's freaking go! <laughs> oh, I don't know how on earth we somehow managed to pull that one out. Man, gee. Gee, oh, man, that was a long game too. That was 53 minutes, 90 turns. We pushed into diamond, guys. I don't know how we managed to escape that one. Oh, I thought for sure we were going to lose. 
Um, yeah, red and orange were both at nine. Oh, man, that's crazy. Let's look at these dice stats. Um, that three on the wheat, that hurt a lot. And the nines probably rolled a bit below uh, what they normally do. Everything else is pretty standard. Uh, we'll take that, though. That was... Whew, there's the red card stats, obviously the dev card stats, everything... Uh, was pulled, activity stats, uh, and then, yeah, look at the resource stats. So our production was second to orange, um, but our overall, same with our overall resource. Actually, we were third in terms of overall resource score. Orange obviously got robbed the most, but whew, happy to get that one, and, yeah, happy to get into Diamond for the first time this season. So overall, I think that was a great game, really interesting. Uh, I hope you all enjoy that one, and, yeah, stay tuned for some more. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.